Unemployment have put more pressure on Finance Minister Ino Godongwana, who is expected to deliver the 2024 budget speech this afternoon. Now, analysts agree that the budget will probably see the Treasury administering a fiscal consolidation to stabilise the country's public finances, an outcome which would hamstring the economy and ambitions to bring down the ultra-high unemployment rate. On the other hand, entrepreneurs are waiting eagerly to hear what Godongwana has in store for them as they play a big role in the country's economy. We are asking for growth to grow our businesses. These banks are always ready to decline us. We've got your NEF, we've got your IDC, we've got your DTI. If they go to CIPRO, they should see when was this company registered? They should be coming to us to say, you've been running a company for more than 22 years. What is it we can do as government to assist you to grow? As we know, we're currently in a recession. So disposable income is down, interest rates are up. And these kinds of things have a massive impact on our sales, on our customers, because we obviously people require disposable income to buy vehicles, as we know. Fuel prices are up. Uh, we spoke about another hike on its way. So these kinds of things are having a massive in impact on our business. In the tourism industry and especially us in the small, you know, medium size enterprises, we, we always hope that tourism is going to be on top of the agenda in terms of any priorities, uh, you know, going forward for the coming, you know, um, uh, year that they're tabling the, the, the budget. I do believe that uh, support needs to be made for, for individuals like Legends Barbershop, for individuals like up-and-coming businesses, for people that want to create something out of whether it's entrepreneurship in our economy, I think that's vital, whether it's creating employment for the next generation, which is vital. <laughs> Tafula <laughs> <laughs>